So what is a Volt Free Contact? There seems to be quite a bit of confusion around this Volt Free Contact. And I say this as somebody who was at one point confused about what a Volt Free Contact is. Despite being an engineer that had worked with them for a long while. And it's the, the confusion is just in the terminology. I was wondering, what is this volt free contact? Is it some, is it monitoring the, the, the resistance and the, the change in potential of it that way? And it's nowhere near that complicated. The other problem is that these are called very different things. So it could be a volt free contact. It could be a dry contact. It could be a potential free contact. It also could be a zero volt contact. Depending on where you are and the terminology used, but it's pretty simple. It is just an ordinary contact. Just an ordinary contact, an ordinary switch. Voltage plus negative. It, it's that simple. It is often used in a in a relay. So you, you use it as a free contact that you could use to power other stuff. So I've used this recently uh, in an example, and I'll get to that, we'll get to that in a minute in the, the live example, but we use it where we wanted to control, um, we wanted a signal coming from an X-ray reject going back to our line control panel. So we knew if the X-ray had triggered, we could reject it on our reject conveyor that, that we were installing uh, a little bit further down. So how we used that was on the um, the circuit board of the of the X-ray, but basically it's just a relay that's no different than than this. Just just smaller um, surface mounted on a PCB, but but no different. And and all of these contacts inside this uh, this relay are basically just this. They're either these ones normally open or that one which is normally closed I need a new pen but that is basically it normally closed normally open normally closed so this one is gonna when the equipment fires it's gonna break and this one when the equipment fires is going to make and that is going to determine what you need it's going to determine how you use it so often a normally closed would be used in a uh, a safety circuit so it fails safe uh, and a normally open would be for a, for a control signal so when our x-ray fires the x-ray gives us it closes gives us a signal we have 24 volts that is sent through the wiring to our um, to our line control panel, and then we know we have a uh, the or the input of the, the the input card of the PLC of the line control panel, which then uh, fires the reject device, and that's basically as complicated and as simple as they are. So basically, you have your coil in your relay when the coil is excited by your depending on how many voltage this is a 12 volt dc coil 12 volts will pull them contacts in you can then use one of these contacts effectively here is your volt free so this could be completely separate to the machine that you're using the only thing that's inside that machine the only thing that's inside our x-ray is a relay like this we are then taking number It'll be a three and a four. Three and four, open door, one and two, straight through. One, two, straight through. Three, four, open door. And that is how I was always taught to remember the difference between the numbering of a normally open contact and a normally closed contact. So, number three and number four, effectively, is our open door can you see that on there three and four open door so number four is line control line control panel a 
effectively what we're doing is sending 24 volts all the way around that circuit and when the x-ray x-ray pulls our coil in that then closes that I'll go into another video on uh, a relay what makes them what pulls them in um, and we can I think we, we can actually make a relay um, but anyway I'll get into that in another video that is basically <clears throat> your normally open normally closed contact volt free contact wet uh, dry contacts whatever that that contacts that you can use for whatever purpose you want then they are electrically separated from the from the from the other machine and you can use them for line control signals basically you can use them in these relays safety relays which i'm not sure i've got one of and in front of me I do have a safety relay it's in here safety relay safety relay has bolt free contacts basically your safety contacts go out on two channels to your e-stop or whatever the safety devices that you've got it, it could well be a safety stop button hit the button locks it in release contacts on the back of it it would have two normally closed contacts you would use effectively that is a zero volt contact that goes through your safety control but you would use rather than one I only, I only have one here you would use two to have dual channel control on your on your safety that is it that is basically what i've got today for you on what is a volt free contact if you find that useful please like subscribe and we'll be along with another video really soon ciao